Hello, welcome to my video on fetal echocardiography. This is the part of our series called Be Aware, Be Prepared and Be Safe. This is an initiative to enable informed decision making by patients. Fetal echocardiography is a prenatal ultrasound test which is done as a diagnostic tool to diagnose fetal heart problems during pregnancy. Fetal medicine consultants are trained to make diagnosis of heart disease early during pregnancy to counsel families on the nature and prognosis of detected abnormalities and establish an appropriate management plan for affected pregnancies much prior to delivery. It studies the function and the structure of the baby's heart to detect congenital heart diseases. What is congenital heart disease? A congenital heart disease is a problem in the structure of the baby's heart which is present before birth. The defect can vary from minor to life-threatening complications. These defects can be straightforward such as hole in the heart connecting two chambers or abnormal heart valve. They can also be more complex defects in which a major portion of the heart or a chamber or any anatomic connections are abnormal. Approximately one in every hundred live borns, that is one person, will be born with a congenital heart disease. Some infants will be born with a heart defect that requires immediate medical attention to stabilize the baby shortly after birth followed by a surgery. What causes congenital heart disease? Both genetic and environmental factors are suspected in the formation of congenital heart disease. In addition, there are other factors in the mother such as diabetes and specific medications taken by the mother such as anti that can be associated with increased rate of heart defects in the baby. Who should have a fetal echocardiogram? Pregnancies may be at risk for congenital heart diseases for a variety of fetal, maternal or familial reasons. The fetal risk factors usually include an abnormal heart rate or arrhythmia on a routine ultrasound screening, chromosomal abnormality in the fetus, increased nuchal translucency thickness at the first trimester scan, non-cardiac fetal problems or chromosomal structural abnormalities, a two-vessel umbilical cord, multiple pregnancies, fluid accumulation in the fetus or abnormal amniocentesis. Abnormalities which are associated outside the heart of the fetus noted on a routine prenatal ultrasound such as extra fluid around the lungs or heart or any abnormality in other organs such as kidneys or brain will also warranty a fetal echocardiogram. What are the maternal risk factors? They include diabetes either prior to or during the pregnancy, lupus or other systemic disorders that involves the heart such as Dijorgi syndrome, First trimester use of teratogens, those are medicines which are taken by the mother during first three months of pregnancy, IVF pregnancies, maternal conditions, maternal con congenital heart diseases, if the mother has been taking medications that are known to cause heart defects, or if the mother has specific infections during, during pregnancy such as cytomegalovirus. Familial risk factors include if the first degree relative has been diagnosed with a congenital heart disease, a first degree relative includes the mother or father of the baby as well as siblings of the baby. If there is no family, known family history of disorder that are passed along from generation to generation. How is fetal echocardiogram performed? A fetal echocardiography is a two dimensional imaging of the baby's heart the main observation which would be made during an ultrasound procedure is to check the structure, the function of the baby's heart, the blood flow, the rate and the rhythm. What are the limitations of this procedure? There may be a structure that is not seen well as the doctor is performing the scan due to the position of the baby and the patient may, uh, may be asked to return even if through there is a suspicion of the problem is low. Even in the case of a totally normal high quality study, not all heart problems can be ruled out during pregnancy. This is because the circulation of the fetus changes after birth. Additionally, very small holes between the lower chambers of the heart are very difficult to see. 
Is this test definitive? As fetal medicine consultants, we work together to detect defects to the maximum extent possible. It must be realized by the patient and her family that the imaging procedures cannot detail extremely minor portions of the baby's heart. Heart defects often develop over time and such as those are the defects of the heart muscle and the valves. Fetal echocardiogram. To summarize, a fetal echocardiogram is usually performed between 16 to 20 weeks of gestation. It studies the structure and function of the baby's heart to detect the presence of congenital heart defect. Pregnancies may be at risk for congenital heart disease for a variety of fetal, maternal or familial reasons. The main observations that would be made during the course of scan procedure are the structure of the heart, blood flow, the rate and rhythm of the baby's heart. Even in case of totally normal high quality study, not all heart problems can be ruled out. This is because the circulation in the fetus changes after birth. For your benefit, we have all this information and more on our website www.chennewomensclinic.com.